its ups and downs you turn your pretty face to an ugly frown seems that when I fix one thing Hello, welcome to The Awakening. I'm your host, Angela Brown. Today's topic for discussion is Let's Talk. My guest today, everyone here in Bowie is gonna know her because she's everywhere, everywhere, and everywhere, everywhere, and everywhere. Her name is Diane Palangan, and we've come here today and we're gonna just talk. Hi, sweetie. Welcome, Diane. I just wanna say, it's, it's, it's so amazing that after knowing each other 20 years, mm -hmm. this is the only way we can get together and talk. You've never <laughs> been to my house for coffee. I've never been well, to your house for time. coffee. We've been to each other's homes, but yeah, not but just to run in and run not out. Not just and, to sit yeah. down and have a glass of wine or know, a cup of coffee. We just run. It's always running to drop some clothes or some food or some something. And run, pick up a battered yep. woman, go to the police yep. station, help her file charges. Oh, it's amazing. Put her in a motel room. Hopefully she's going to be okay by the next day. Hard to believe that it's been 20 years that That's we've been right. just running mm -hmm. ragged doing this, the same thing, the helping same each thing. other. But, uh, you know, while we're talking about this, um, it's, it's, it seems that people who help other people seem to know, have a, a certain little circle of, of people they can go to. Right. And in Bowie, we are so fortunate that we have so many loving and caring mm -hmm. people. Um, and most of the community doesn't know that this person may be doing that or that mm -hmm. person may be doing that. But the people who work within those circles mm -hmm. know who's doing it. When I was door knocking the other day, I knocked on, on a lady's house. And I am going to say her name because she will never take recognition or anything. I have wanted to honor her a dozen times. Then go and, for it. Well, she doesn't want the honor because she, mm -hmm. she's doing it in the name of God. Mm -hmm. So, But I knocked on her door and uh, she, she said, um, you know, I have furniture, I have household items, I have glassware. Do you know anybody who needs this kind of thing? Mm -hmm. So naturally, I thought of you. <laughs> yeah, you go right and, back and, to me. Right, and, and the women that you try to help when, when you take them out of a, a, a bad situation a bad and situation. they get set up in an mm -hmm. apartment, they need things. And so I immediately thought of you, and I called and then said, well, you know what, put it in your garage <laughs> because you'll, you'll need it if <laughs> That's not what today, I do. tomorrow. The ceiling, my attic is full. And then one of uh, the, the guys that work in my office complex, uh, Watkins, partnership. I'm going to name it because people do good things and they, they just never get that pat on the back. They don't get the recognition they deserve. He turned me on to helping with the sum so others might eat. Yes, I in, know that organization. DC. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and it's our turn to cook and provide food um, and we do it like on the fourth Tuesday uh -huh. of, of the month. So Ruth mentioned Mac McCaffrey. Yes, I know Mac. And she said he is, uh, he's got lots of bread that he gets from Panero's. Um, That's good bread. And yes, it is. And we're and not giving so, them a plug either, but it's the well, truth. Well, it's, it's because the people do such good things and they don't get that pat mm -hmm. on the back. And I called him to see if I could get some bread for Tuesday's breakfasts and lunches. And he is just all ready to help in whatever mm -hmm. way he can. This is Mac McCaffrey? Yes, and okay. so I'm going to go Monday um, morning to pick up the bread for Tuesday morning. And I'm thinking here, I, you know, you have to find something to feed. They, they make about 450 breakfasts in the summer, and I'm thinking that's a lot of bread. That is a lot of bread. A lot of eggs and things like that. And, and the people are so willing to share mm -hmm. their good fortune and to share, and, and they go along and they do these wonderful things. Nobody knows what good people they really are. So right. I wanted to just give a shout out to those people and say thank you for all the work that, that you mm -hmm. do for those in our community and just outside of our community. But and you know, I can wonderful. be in Walmart sometimes, Diane, just walking along doing my own thing. And just this past week was so wonderful. I had this lady walk up to me. She says, I know you, you're Angela Brown. And I said, uh-huh. She said, you help the women, don't you? And I go, uh-huh. She digs in her pocket and hands me this little old wrinkled up $5 bill. Oh. 
five dollar oh. bill, Diane. I'd never laid eyes on her, Isn't that but wonderful? she's. And then about a couple of days after that, I had another person, but it was a young man. Oh my god. He gosh. was probably maybe 15, 16, 17. I don't know. And he says, I know you. He says, I watched the Awakening. And I said, Well, thank you. He says, But you work hard around the neighborhoods too, don't you? And I said, Yeah, I do. And he says, I've had something for you. And he pulls out a five dollar bill as well. Oh. So, I mean, these are people who maybe can't even afford it, that's right. but they're better off than the ones who don't have anything, and that's why they help Diane. Well, and that's what, you know, by getting back to Bowie as being such an amazing community. It is, because it is. People really want to share their good mm -hmm. fortune with those who are less fortunate than they are. And so would you want to live anyplace else? No. Just because you live in Bowie mm -hmm. doesn't mean there isn't any abuse or there isn't any poverty or that some children aren't going to bed hungry. Yes, and people there are drugs and there's still there's, problems there's with the law. Problems. Yeah. And people think because they live in Bowie, they don't have these problems. But they Aww. are here and we have wonderful, wonderful neighbors that mm -hmm. really work very, mm -hmm. very hard to help people out. So. That being said, I mean, I could go on forever talking no, but about I how thank, wonderful Bowie is. I want to is. thank you, too, on the air, because I remember a year, about a year and a half ago, I called you and Ava when I was beaten up in my oh, driveway. Oh, gosh, that was awful. Remember that night? Well, my legs, yeah, I have the pictures. My legs now. were all chopped up, my knees and everything. Oh, well, it was your face, everything But was. you were there. He, Ava was there, the police and the yeah, ambulance. Yeah. Everybody was in nine minutes. Yeah. All it took was nine minutes. Right. And everybody was there to help me, because that was a hell of a it's scary an night, community. Diane. It was a scary night. It's, it was it's an amazing community. and. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm just blessed to be able to be here, and I'm, mm -hmm. I'm thrilled to be able to be in the capacity I am now as a mm -hmm. councilwoman to even be able to help a little bit more. But you know, when I met you 20 years ago, <laughs> you were a little chunkier. Okay, so I was. You, you've lost a tremendous amount of weight. Now, I, on one hand, you know, it depends on what month it is. I'm fat, mm -hmm. I'm thin, I'm fat, I'm thin. <laughs> You have been able to keep this weight off, and you look wonderful. Several, several so months. What do you do, what do I do? I'm sure everybody has heard of rice cakes. I won't get the brand I like. Sometimes in the morning, it's like I'll have styrofoam. Ah. <laughs> sometimes I'll have one with peanut butter on it, and sometimes I'll have one with jelly on it and a cup of coffee. But I always do an exercise bike in the morning. I will knock out 10 miles in 30 minutes. I will put myself on heavy wool pants, like sweatpants, and a sweatshirt. And Diane, I know that's it. <laughs> I will run and walk and walk and walk and everything else. And then I go to the gym three to four times a week besides all this work that I do. I'm up till 2 o'clock in the morning, maybe 3 o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. trying to get myself organized. And like today's show is so important, I worked really hard on that. Well, every show is important. Yeah, yeah. But I don't eat a lot of red meat. I like mm. grilled chicken. Salads, I go crazy on lettuce. I'll start spouting you know, bunny ears pretty soon. But I love that, and I drink 22 to 23 glasses of water every single day, and I take my vitamins. Oh, I take a lot of vitamins. I take I, about 40 a day, Diane. I, I have really turned on to red meat. This is terrible. You're turned on to red meat? The first 50 years of my life, I never touched it. I, you, couldn't, you couldn't pay me to eat red meat. Mm -hmm. And then about... 10 or 12 years ago, someone introduced me to Black Angus, and I said, I'm not going <laughs> to I'm not gonna eat beef. I've never eaten beef mm -hmm. before. Ooh, yeah. And I ate this Black Angus, and ah. And now you're addicted to it. I'm addicted to it. It's just, oh. it's incredible. I should fix you a Black Angus <laughs> steak sometime. <laughs> you and won't be saying you eat that grilled uh. chicken. <laughs> But I, I just like I say, I watch what I eat yeah, all the time. Yeah. I watch that. So, really so it really is true then that you have to exercise. You, you must hear people exercise. say, I don't exercise, I never exercise. You have exercise to exercise to keep it going. Yeah. Oh. But I dropped 32 pounds. Yeah, you look great. I dropped 32 yeah. pounds and I went down into a size petite four. Oh. And I've never been a petite four in my life, Diane. I was born a petite four. <laughs> <laughs> well, you look wonderful. Thank so you. For, I guess for I have to. Um, me. to work on the exercise bit a little bit. I want to talk about the hard, hard job that you had being the secretary of BPW. It wasn't hard. Oh my hard. gosh, secretary was the easy job. Uh, but you flew, every time I turned around, if I uh, called yeah. you, she's gone, she's gone, so like I said, she's gone, the song, you know, <laughs> Diane. Yeah. But you were gone, you were never around. Well, secretary was the easy job. You know, I did the secretary, then the vice president, mm -hmm. and the president, and I just finished my term as yes, you national did. president. Yes, you did, because I was there. Yeah, so um, the secretary was easy job. I like that. Mm -hmm. um, Did you like all the flying, though? I'm a white knuckle flyer, <laughs> and um, but you have to get there. So, and, yes. and the more you fly, the more 
you were, strange things are yeah. going to happen yes, to you yes, because yes. you're you know you're in the air more than the average mm -hmm. person so if if it's going to happen it'll happen mm -hmm. on one of your flights mm -hmm. i mean i've been in some flights where i've got off the plane and kissed the ground